nice clover. I guess that's not a bad cover crop after rye if you're not going to plant something else after it. It's got the first load here. Fresh horse manure. Yuck. That ain't no good. a little room here. I can make the swing but just barely. Looks like we'll spread a little flesh sod through it. There's a stuff that's been back there since last fall that should have come here with the brush more and cut around this thing before I started bombing around in here. and put the spreader right there, I'm sure. You gotta be tricky to steer a non-power steering two-cylinder with your knee. I tried it in fourth again, but that lower side, it's even rutted up worse than... I didn't realize how bad I was sinking when I was doing that ride. It's chewed up pretty good. Back there and took a piece of pencil. 
they have faster cycle times. There ain't that much in there. I'll the sun is way up there yet. I get it. It's a conspiracy, I tell ya. That must have come out of the uh, barn floor when I mucked this out, and there's another one. This, uh, I bet you that rock is 120, 130 degrees. Lots of uh, microbial action going on here. All right, well, I'll go get rid of those things so I don't kill my manure spreader any more than I already have. This is what happens when you let your manure pile compost for too long. You get lamb's quarter. And oats, I don't care about oats. And thistles. I'm sure that's ripe enough to go to seed. Well, there. Ah, a pigweed. I don't know what kind of video this is going to be with me pulling weeds. I think the next uh, it's getting a little squishy back here. I think I'll go around the back and push this all forward. Won't take too long to get this all. We'll get it tonight. Easy. Unless we break something. Okay, we are done. So, let me jump down here. So it took nine and a half hours to spread all the manure. Now it took a couple hours to bucket that stuff into this manure pile that day. So anybody want a goose? So here's that. I'm gonna take all that mess apart. I'm gonna, well, the building's gotta get up before everything gets moved around here, but I'm probably, uh, I'm probably feeding off of this side. So I've been thinking about that with the building over there. If I fence this right, I'll just feed right there in front of me where that water tub is. 
put panel fence there. And then everything will just get cleaned out of that end. This manure pile I'll probably move closer to the barn. I'll just dump it right there. Load and put it right here. So everything will be kind of in the same place. I just take a couple panels out to... If I want to go that way, I take a couple panels out. If I want to go this way, I take a couple panels out. But actual loading and spreading of manure was about six hours. There's about two, two and a half to three of pulling out the manure spreader and monkeying around, hacking that back together. It worked fine. So... We'll uh, let this go here, and I don't think we have a whole ton of time on this uh, video here. Maybe we'll add something tomorrow. So this thing needs the grease. Actually, I greased it when I went half a dozen passes back and forth for the potatoes over there. So it probably doesn't need much grease, but it hasn't done anything all summer. So we'll give it the grease. comes Cody back from wherever he was. I think he had to go to work. So greasing's not terribly exciting content, but we'll get the rest of this. And I don't know if I want to go disc or not. It's in the mid 80s. Tractor likes disking better when it's cooler. This is a fair amount of, uh, takes a lot of horsepower to pull this thing. One size bigger, I don't think we'd do it. All right, well, this is just a test to see how much this flops around. If mounting this, uh, the phone filming on this tripod and the tractor is doable. I think it's going to be awful bouncy. I don't know if we're going to disc anything much over here. chewing through some of this stuff. I wanted to let the cows graze this off to nothing before I put the manure on it, but time. That's not tearing up too bad. Thank you. 
step in post on the corner. It's not going to be real big. I got it at three and a half acres right now. I wanted to go to four, but I get down in the wet to a four. I don't really want that. But it'll do what it's for. supposed to rain maybe tonight, tomorrow. Started out a little crooked over here. thing I am going to do on this tripod I guarantee is hit the hydraulics and knock the camera right over. Alright, well we're going to call this the video. We'll put it up here sometime next few days. We'll let yesterday's uh, manure spreading video soak